Hi everyone, welcome, welcome to another episode of Spice Isle Cafe and today we are making kuma. Now this is another snack that we use back home so um, I hope that after you taste this you would love it and share with your family and friends. It is very simple to make, you don't need a lot of ingredients, I just have um, flour, uh, butter here, a pinch of salt and I am going to knead this, show you how to knead it before we go into the frying aspect. So thank you for tuning in and being a part of my kitchen and today we are making kumar. So I have about three cups of flour in here. I'm just going to put a pinch of salt all in this y'all. A pinch of salt. I'm just going to um, mix this. with my spatula here real quick. And not a lot of people do that with their kumar, but I, I like to put a little bit of butter. So about a four tablespoons or so, I am just gonna put in here. Yes. Butter makes everything better, y'all. So I'm just gonna put about, yeah, about a four tablespoons of butter in here and mix this in. I'm definitely going to um, use my hands in a minute. So different Caribbean islands will call this um, by a different name. I, I, I have some of it on my blog and I don't want to mess up the pronunciation. So um, you can check that out, spiceislecafe.com. So, but at least for um, Grenadians and those from Trinidad and Tobago, uh, we definitely use um, kumar here. So all I'm doing is mixing my flour with a little bit of salt. I put some butter in there and now I'm gonna mix this in. Now the thing with kumar is that you have to, the dough has to be tight. And I'm gonna tell you, the, the funny thing is, um, when I started to learn how to make uh, dumplings, my mom, she had to remind me that I have to carry, you have to loosen up your arms because I was kneading everything tight. So I have enough practice, let's just say, for making kumar because I, I am accustomed to kneading dough very, very tightly. Okay? Uh, so, yeah. So everything come together. I'm just using the water. You don't have need any rising agent in here because it's like a breadstick that we use it's um you don't need a lot of puff really you need the crunch so i just give a piece of butter for flavor but you need to get in there and knead this like nobody's business <laughs> so i am just kneading this welcome welcome and then I am going to put it all out on the counter and give it a good hand movement here because you need to get all in there. It's coming together. It's coming together. Don't worry about um, having a mixer for this one because we really, really need you to use all your muscles here. Get the aggression out if you have to. <laughs> Just get in there. Okay. So, I'm doing it with one hand, but um, in a while I'm gonna put everything out, okay? So I got every bit of flour in and now I'm just going to dust a bit on my counter right here and dig in. So for me, when I'm kneading this particular type of dough, it, it's like an, I'm an MMA fighter or something. Huh. I just take my hands. I, I don't know anything about Muay Thai. I'm 
my fingers right now, just the back of my hand right there. And just get in. Now, if I'm using one hand, I push down and then I use my thumb and just go in. So you can do whatever motion works best or comes naturally to you, but you got to get in there because this dough needs to be really tight. So when you, um, when you fry it, it does not, you get that crunch and it doesn't come out like, you know, soft after a couple of days. So just get in there. And I am just using this part of my hand and I'm pushing it in, pushing it in, okay? So you need that for about five, 10 minutes. And then um, you can put it in the refrigerator to firm up even more. And then everything would be ready. So I hope that you can get your your muscle workout today if you didn't get your exercise in this is one of the times you can I love coming in the kitchen for that because I can get all my aggression out in the flower <laughs> I told you if you came over to the side of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu it's exactly the same as being in the kitchen oh, I don't know about that what are we like doing you... cooking up recipes to show people <laughs> cooking up recipes to show I don't think that's what you do exactly the same no I don't want to choke anyone at my recipe. I just want it to be tasty and you to enjoy with your family. That's all we are. You know, yeah, so, and my counter is a little bit high. So if you see me looking like if I'm going up on my tippy toes, that I'm short. I wear a lot of heels. So you probably think I'm taller than I am. But <laughs> Yes, I'm getting in there, y'all. I'm getting in this all-purpose flour I used. And I am making sure that this get a good need. I'm getting a good work out here. Five to 10 minutes, this really needs you to get in there. You know, just use the back of your hands. You know, you use your fingers to bring everything together, but afterwards, you go in with the back and push and turn as you go. Everyone may have different methods, but for me, this works. Well, my mom the one that taught you that method now. Remember <laughs> back in college? Really? Like when you were first doing Kuma. <laughs> yeah. So and that's... Then I gave you the idea for welfare. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Not trying that. Um, so he loved Kuma. He still does, but I... I, tell you, I have not there, you know. made Kuma in a while. So he's really happy today, y'all. You, you can't... Really, can't really happy. <laughs> really really happy okay so once this start getting kind of smooth you know you know it's 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 almost there just make sure it's tight doesn't it's not rocket science really it's just flour butter and a pinch of salt <laughs> and all your muscles really in your hands to just knead knead this baby up and then um, you fold it in a disc and wrap it and put it in the in the refrigerator for a little bit so yeah I think this is tight enough for me I am going to just wash my hands wrap this in put it in the refrigerator and then we would start on put our oil and get ready for frying soup Welcome, welcome if you are just joining in. I am just going to put this in the refrigerator and clean up this area and move on to the next. Okay, it goes in the refrigerator. I'm gonna leave this over here because this is the, the station I would work at. Okay. So hold on, we gotta wait on this in the refrigerator. So about 10 minutes or so, you just want it to form up um, a bit. 
Esther was just asking about how long does this take overall? It depends on how much you're making. I used to make a lot in, for, in college, a whole pot. So it just depends on how much you are going to make. It, the process can take half an hour all the way up to an hour, depending on how much you're going to make. So we're going to time it today. We're 10 minutes in, so let's see how everything goes from here. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the oil because the oil ought to be really hot. So I'm going to let the oil, um, I'm using canola oil. I'm going to let the oil get hot. I'm put, using a medium pan and I am going to put that up and let it get hot. And then, because this time, I had a, a, I needed a dough earlier on. So I'm gonna take that dough out, roll that dough, and start cutting it up for, to get ready for frying very soon. But um, in the meantime, I'm also, if you see over here, I have my ginger out and my sugar and, um, well, two types of ginger powder as well as um, this the whole ginger and I am going to grate this ginger here because after I fry I need to have that um, little coating a ginger syrup on top so I'm gonna just use that time to prepare and then I'll take my dough out and get to, to crack it all right are making kuma it's a fried bread stick that we all love from back home I'm actually just here about to grate part of this ginger ginger root because I'm gonna use two method I'm gonna have the ginger root grated as well as some of this when time to make the coating to put over the kuma so I am gonna work on that right now and um, uh, if you have any questions as I do this process, you can definitely ask and I'll be happy to answer. You don't need a lot of ginger um, and some people don't even use the ginger root. They probably just use the, the powder as well as some people don't use ginger at all. But that is, that is, um, very important to to do um at least for me it gives you can grate it on a if you have a fine grater you can do it there but i'm just using this so it should be very quick all right i don't want a lot so i'm just gonna put it's just to get that extra gingery flavor in there you can do it out or you can use this i'm just going to use so it's about a tablespoon or so and i have this ginger powder so i'm going to set these aside for the coating of the kumar all right so I have to wait for the oil to firm up. Well, not firm up, but just to heat up a little bit more. And then we are going to get to frying. In the meantime, I'm going to take the dough out, roll it out, and cut it up. Now, this dough I did yesterday. So you it's... did or I did? <laughs> So I, um, it's already firm, you know, so I'm going to just take my rolling pin and get ready to roll it out and start cutting up, okay? All right. So I have my 
my rolling pin ready, my flour ready, and I am just going to put this all out. I need my knife so I can cut this up. Now, if you want to wait a little bit longer with your dough in the refrigerator, you can go all the way to half an hour. Um, it just helps when you have to cut and it doesn't stick. Because kuma, as I said, you want that crunch when you are uh, about to fry. So I'm, my dough is really stiff here. So I am going to cut it in two so it will help me get this all working so I'm just cutting this in half right now good and you want it to about I don't between uh, I would say quarter inch and a half inch thickness when you're cutting it out and so you can get that beautiful stick-like structure. Now, I do not have a pastry cutter or a pizza cutter. If you have a pastry cutter or a pizza cutter, some of them have like a five, um, what do you call it, like a five wheel pastry cutter or pizza cutter, perfect. But I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way <laughs> and cut it using a knife. There is no foul in that. So as I said, if you see this right now, in the bottom here, this is about a quarter inch. And then on top here is about a half inch. So I'm going to have like some quarter inch thickness and some half inch thickness. And, um, but that's okay. Because at the end of the day, this is how you make it. So I'm just going to cut this in about... Yeah, three sprouts or so, and just cut everything down. Make sure it's yeah. So I'm just gonna cut away. Yeah, <laughs> I have to make sure I'm not. Uh, Yeah, so you, as you can see, again, I am cutting like You know when the oil is ready for me I just put one of these babies in if it's it, you know if it starts frying and ready by just putting in one pastry cutter or um, or a pizza cutter so I'm using a knife 
I put my dough in the refrigerator for overnight. Now, so that's the dough I'm using, but for those of you who are trying it right away, you can um, put your dough in for, you know, 10 minutes. Some people may want to go up to 20, that's fine. And um, it shouldn't be sticking too much. You want that firmness so that it can, um, it can fry as how it should. So I'm just cutting up these and then it's just gonna be frying away. The oil is almost ready. The one that I have in here seemed to be turning golden. You don't want it too white, so I'm just, again, waiting. I'm gonna turn up the heat just a tad because I had it on medium. So you want it medium to medium high. Not very high because it will burn. Okay, so I'm making kumar. That's that breadstick we love so much back home. And um, I hope you will try it. The recipe is on the blog, so spiceislecafe.com. It's on WordPress. And I am just cutting away. <laughs> I'm cutting up dough, y'all. All right, so I would say it's time to start frying. So. Do this very gently because sometimes I forget. All right, I'm practically almost done cutting. So I'm in the frying stage here, y'all. And then we are going to do the coating of this sooner rather than later. I hope you all will try this recipe. Fun, fun, fun. Again, I'm cutting to um, quarter, uh, quarter inch to a uh, half inch thickness. Now, there are different sizes. Now, again, this is for home use. So, some of it is like this length, probably two and a half to three inches long. Some are two inches long. So, it just depends now this is just for home use so I am I am just cutting this without a pizza cutter <laughs> and using my knife and getting this going yes this is frying away y'all frying away if you can hear the sizzle the sizzle? See, if I remember properly, Kuma is from Antigua, right? No, 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 no. Uh, I think it's more of an East Indian thing because people from um, Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago, they have Kumar a lot. And because of those influences in Grenada, we um we adopted that kind of um uh snack you know so almost all the islands some people call it chicken foot some you know there are different names for that in different islands but we call it kumar on our island all right it's frying away y'all it's frying away Soon I'll be taking out the first set, so I'm just gonna wash my hands. Gonna get in there. I think yeah. this is just one of the benefits of you 
hanging around the Antigua, you know. And I was. I remember just the same way your sister Corinne benefited. Remember when I was teaching how to bake? Like <laughs> you know. Karen, um, if you're hearing this comment, so. um, uh, Neil said he taught you how to bake. What a story. Well, how was it? What the, is the joke? Antigua. Oh my goodness. I'll just let you. So this is the time it takes the longest, y'all, where it's it, the cutting and the frying. So once that's done, we will get ready for the coating of this and we'll have Kumar to eat. Yes. It's gonna get golden brown and I'm gonna take You can certainly ask. Where are the people today? Where are the people? <laughs> Esther was saying um, the chicken foot, uh, when we do it in Antigua, it's a little different in that we don't dip it in sugar. Um, so I suppose it's close. Um, so I, I, cause I do, yeah. I do remember it is similar to that, but I suppose, yeah, there's a yeah, the every, with the sugar and the ginger, you know? Um, yeah. So I'm saying everyone does it yeah. slightly differently, but, but I like but, Kumar because of the high sugar content. Yeah. <laughs> Kareen is pretending to be surprised about, um, me teaching her everything she knows. <laughs> She's talking about how I dreamt that. Yes, Karen, yeah. he dreamt that for real. I'm here frying up some Kumar. Neil can't wait for me to coat it with sugar so that he can, he can have it. I'm telling you. So that's gonna be our afternoon snack for sure in this house. Having some Kumar. Yes, it's frying up vigorously. I'm on my one before the last batch, and then we're gonna get to the coating. When I'm on my last batch, I will definitely put the, um, the sugar and all of that to start boiling once I am on my last batch. Because by the time I'm ending that, it will be time to toss everything in and go from there. So yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm making Kumar, it's very simple. So Kim Forrester was asking if you do cheese straw. Yeah, I do cheese straw, but so that would be something um, in the near future that I would do, but yeah, that would be something, so... How near of the future? And I cannot say. I, I believe you can. I, I cannot say, but yes, I've done cheese rolls before, and yeah, that would be something. I also have a recipe on my blog, so that would be a good thing to do as well. Um, okay, so yeah, that just follows up with Kim's question. She was saying, if you do do it, can you um, show how to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. yeah, 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 yeah. So when whenever I am doing cheese straws, I would um, make sure that you <laughs> that you all are on. All right. So what so, are the secret recipes you have that aren't on your blog? Oh, art. <laughs> I can find the ingredients you know to do them the way um, we would do them home things like tamarind balls and you know other candy like stuff so it just depends hmm I don't feel as if I'm getting a straight out I feel like I'm getting a politician's <laughs> well, you who knows you probably living with a politician and you don't know <laughs> so I am on my last batch here frying up some kuma thank you all for joining and when I am on my last batch I will start the coating um, process I have some sugar 
I have some ginger, both the ginger powder and the ginger root. And then I am going to toss everything in, you know, and make sure it, it, it's coated nicely and we can have um, snacks later. Nice. So you guys can come in with your questions. I'll be happy to answer them. And we'll go from here. So this is almost, almost there, almost here. So I have my heat on medium medium high um, you don't want it on high so that it burns but uh, it's good to have it just in the middle way between medium and, and high so um, you get that golden brown color without it being burnt so I'm on my last batch well the, la the batch before the last and then once this is done, I will put everything else in and start the process over there. <clears throat> Question, questions, just let me know. Um, at the end of this blog, you can, or this video, you can um, comment as to what you would like to see next. And um, I would let you know what we are going to do if I choose from the pool or I just come up with something. Yeah, so this is the, the thing that takes the longest here, just the frying, really. Um, once you're done frying, it's, you know, the coating and, and even the kneading of the flour is very quick but everything else is a little bit slower just because this has to be crunchy and you don't want to rush that process here so so it's almost ready and i will take that out put the others in and then start on the coating over there you can ask your questions I'll be happy to answer. All right, so here I am taking out the almost last batch. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the final batch in here and then we are going to start on the other thing so they're not all stuck on top of each other. And then, I'm gonna crank this oven up, oh well, stove, sorry. And start on this. So I need to put some water in here. So, let's see. I'm gonna put some water. This baby's all cranked up, and then we are going to start on the coating. So I have like a quarter cup of sugar, 
Um, and I have some ginger, both the ginger root and some of the ginger powder. And I am gonna um, stir that in a while once it starts coming together. And then I would coat the um, I will coat the kumar with it. I know I'm just munching on the the crunchiness of this kumar. Oh yes, the crunch is there. I'm frying the last batch of kumar and then I am definitely making a coating to go over that. So Chanel just came on. Hi um, Chanel. She's the little by time and she said um she came late but um she'll be watching the replay. Um, she thinks that what you're cooking, they call that chicken bones in Dominica. Okay, so Dominicans call this chicken bones. In Antigua, they call it chicken foot. In Grenada, we call it kumar. I know in Guyana, they have another name. So every Caribbean island has a different name for what I'm making today. But it's a fried bread stick that we use as a snack and we coat it with um, sugar, like a syrup or a glaze over it. And um, yeah, we have that as a snack, especially if you come, you know, after school, you want to have a bag of that and maybe some honey roasted nuts or something. So that's, that's something that we, we, we do home. So this started boiling, so I'm going to kind of move the sugar around here and let it do its thing. Neil likes it sweet, so I'm going to put in just a little bit more for Neil. <laughs> so I put in like a, a three quarter of a cup of um, sugar. I put a little bit of um, ginger root in there. I bought a tablespoon of that and I had like some ginger powder. I may add a little bit of powder because I like that ginger in my um in my kumar if you don't like ginger that's fine you can just leave it out all together and just do sugar coating on top of it so i have about a teaspoon and a half of um ginger and then so i'll just leave that there to do its thing and once it starts coming together, I'll toss everything in and go from there. So, yeah, the frying takes the longest. And, um, and believe you me, I'm just snacking on these. I used to do these in batches <laughs> in college. So, I know how long they can take frying if you're doing a big, big amount. But, so I'm going to just snack on this in a while I wait for all of this to come together. Mmm, here a crunch. Oh, honey, you want to taste? No, I, I want he to wants wait the sugar. It's <laughs> It needs to be coated for me. He can't time. wait until he has the sugar, y'all. Okay, so this is boiling vigorously. I love it. I'm on my last batch frying. I'm gonna turn off this oven and I mean stove and then have the other one here do its thing. V is giving a shout out. He's Hi V. Mr. <laughs> Edwards. I'm making a fried bread stick called Kumar. <laughs> Turn off the stove under. Alyssa is asking why are you teasing them? <laughs> I know. I, I have to. I have to. We're all home trying to figure out when are we going to go back out to work. So we might as well have fun in the kitchen. Alright, I'm taking out my last batch 
of Kumar. And then I am, oh, look at that beautiful bubbly goodness over there. It's coming together. All right, so we have this all fried up. Oh, look at this, y'all. Look at this. I'm going to stir this baby. I'm going to wash it. And when I realize it's going to... Oh, if you all can smell this. I wish you all could smell this because it's smelling good in, in this house. And you all are not here. So Neil is going to have a field day with this, this Kumar business. I'm telling you. I use a bit, um, a three quarters of a cup. I know on the website I have, you know, you can use a cup, a cup and a half, but it all depends on how much you're going to make, okay? If you want it really, really sweet, yeah, use a cup. If you want it semi-sweet, you know, um, you can choose what you want to do. I'm watching this, the, the, it's still runny. I'm watching... I would know once it start coming together. And I would test one. Oh, look at that goodness. Yes. Thank you all for joining in. Um, we're making Kumar. I'm about to coat the Kumar that I fried up in a nice little syrup here. I'm going to test it on the spoon. The back of the spoon to see if um, the kumar is ready. Oh, it's coming together. So you see, it's almost translucent, but once it dries, you know, you get that beautiful sugary ginger tasting loveliness. Okay, it's, it, you can see that here. So it's coming together. It's um, sticking. It just needs. Just a little bit extra time, and then I'm gonna toss the rest of this in there. Mm hmm. We're getting there, y'all. <laughs> so, V is asking a question here. He wants to know if the potato man is quarantined. If it's <laughs> inside oh, joke. Oh, inside joke. <laughs> okay, V. I would leave you in the hands of the Lord. Um, Chanel said she may try it tonight depending on what ingredients she has. Oh yeah, and Chanel, if you want to try this tonight, all you need is, you can go on my blog, spiceoutcafe.com, kumar, flour, a little bit of butter, I mean two, four tablespoons, just depending on how you want it, a pinch of salt, you mix it up and you mix it tight, put it in the fridge for a little bit. You know, at 10 minutes, 15, however, you know, time you have, and then cut it up in sticks and fry it. Poovia is in the house as well. He's just there drooling. <laughs> that's Poovia for you. Okay, so this, once you see, it's getting thicker. Once it's not super runny, it's getting thicker. So then it's going to be the time for me to toss these babies in. Look at this. I'm going to leave it just a little bit longer and then toss everything in uh-huh yep let me test you see if the sides start getting sticky you know it's getting ready so i'm gonna do the back of the spoon test again And make sure it's it's sticking nicely on there and then we can go from there yeah it's sticking it's nice and translucent Kurt. so I'm going to get ready to toss this in Chanel was saying it sounds easy and Richard has a sweet tooth. Great. So here we go. I'm, I'm tossing this in. Woo! Now we need to mix this baby real quick. Now that I've tossed it in and it's taking on the coating of the, the sugar and all this loveliness. 
Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Hello, somebody. <laughs> Anybody knows me, they know that I love to sing. So, don't mind me here. I'm making sure this kuma is all nice and toasted and tossed. And everything is beautifully coated with some ginger and beautiful syrup. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. I'm turning off this, the, the, the fire. It's all done. Neil is going to make his name tonight. I'm going to just dump this back into my dish. And Kumar is done. Got myself there. <laughs> the pot is hot. Beautiful. Yep. Right on the money. Yep, yep. So, this is the finished product. I can come over here. Beautiful. Kumar is done. You can wrap that in a, a plastic bag. You can put it in. Do I have some, you know, you can even make this into a little thank you. I have a nice little thank you bag right here. And um, I am gonna say it's beautiful. It's nice, it's spring-like. I'm gonna put some of this in here, tell you thank you for coming. You know, to look at this beautiful, beautiful um, recipe here. It's, it's gonna be jotting out, you know. Beautiful. Thank you for coming. Boom, done. Kim Forrest always saying she can't live with you. She swears she'd always be eating. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, for sure. Kim, you know that. You know, but you always cook. So you'll be cooking. I'll be cooking. Make, you know, it would just be a beautiful, wonderful time. I have to see that. It only so, looks good now. I don't know if it's So Neil has to do the test. Neil has to do the test. So, so you have to thank you all for coming. Neil is going to definitely, all okay, of this, let, has, let me taste I'm, one too. I'm, I'm, cheers. I'm, I'm, cheers. No. Cheers. 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 Okay, that's about like <laughs> nice enough ginger. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I don't know about you, but we okay. have snacks, y'all. Blood sugar. <laughs> that's good. Uh huh. Mmm. I'm telling you. Okay. I'll give you. Good stuff. I'll give you a 95%. <laughs> it's still an A. It's still an A. It's still an A. It's still an A. So, mm -hmm. thank you all for joining me on another episode of Spice Art Cafe. This was Kumar. V is asking if you could just send the bag to him, please. <laughs> uh, the amount of bags I would have to send, oh my goodness, some people would be upset with me. So I think we will just sit down and eat it all. How about that? <laughs> mm. Thank you all my lovely people for joining me on this episode here of, of Spice Art Cafe and making Kumar. Until next time, one love my people.